Hail has battered parts of southeast Queensland this afternoon, marking the beginning of a three-day hot spell. The Weather Bureau is warning the unusually high temperatures are set to stay. Pelting hailstones at the end of a hot Lockyer Valley day. Cars forced to pull over as hail hammered the Warrigo Highway. After this afternoon's line of severe storms, you'd be forgiven for thinking that it's summer. And according to the Bureau, it almost is. Southeast Queensland is heading for a potentially record-breaking hot spell starting tomorrow. Brisbane, for example, the September record is 35.1. We're currently forecasting 35 on Monday. Elsewhere in the southeast, it'll get even hotter, with Ipswich set to reach 37 on Sunday. And there's no sign spring will return. It's more than likely that these warmer conditions will continue uh, at least until November, December at this stage. It felt like a summer's day in much of the southeast today, with hundreds opting to hit the beach. Even the summer of cricket appears to have already started. But the conditions weren't perfect. Windy, but the water's really refreshing. Beautiful. The daughter just bought a new board, so we wanted to uh, try it out, but yeah, probably not the best day today. It's that wind that's concerning firefighters who want to prevent a repeat of last month's out of control bushfires on the Sunshine Coast. That means as soon as you see smoke, please call triple zero. In the wide bay, the weather is playing havoc with seasonal crops. They might be chillies, but even they don't like the hot conditions. The expected heat that we're going to get soon, I think we're going to see a radical decrease in quality in our finished product. Green thumbs in the southeast are urged to prepare their plants to survive the hot weekend. It's more getting the water at, at, to the root zone and soaking the root ball up to get the plants through that dry patch. With the current trend of hot, dry weather, SEQ Water is just two weeks away from enacting its water saving plan for the region's dams. But the good news is residential water restrictions won't come into effect unless there's another two failed wet seasons. Best to hit the beach and wait it out. Just for a nice relaxing day in the sun. Beach working. Isabel Rowe, ABC News. Jenny Woodward joins me in the studio now. Jenny, when is the heat going to end? Well, that's the problem, Karina. At this stage, there's no end in sight, with temperatures 10 to 15 degrees above average over most of the state during the coming week. We've got a fire weather warning for the southern interior, and there's a severe weather warning tomorrow for parts of the Channel Country, the Maranoa and Warrego. Damaging winds of up to 100 kilometres per hour are expected. So very lucky if you got some rain today, with nothing on the forecast to the end of next week. And I'll be back with a full weather report later.